This study is an excellent example how we use patient-derived tumor samples that are a valuable resource for us, do molecular analysis and use state-of-the-art molecular techniques, and then generate collaborations within our own group to be able to analyze this tissue to better understand the biology of the tumor, but also extend our collaboration across our institution to use expertise locally and also extend beyond and have expertise internationally. So our study is the first to provide a large-scale genomic landscape of schwannoma. So this allows us to now look at the individual mutations and alterations that a patient has. This is a very informative in going into the future as future therapies will be specifically tailored to each individual patient. This is an example where we can bring together integrated molecular analysis and come up with some of the understanding underpinnings of the biology of the tumor. I think the impact is twofold. One is that this is the first study that's looked at the biology of schwannomas in a very comprehensive manner. And so understanding the biology of the tumor and recognizing some of the mutations that occur in these tumors and some of the driver mutations that promote the growth of these tumors is critical. That knowledge is key. And then the second impact, I think, is identification of mutations and fusions that are realistically targetable. Identifying the driver mutations that promote the formation of these tumors, we can uh, understand the vulnerabilities of these tumors and, and treat them uh, specifically with drugs that target the specific genetic mutations. We, we believe that this novel gene fusion represents an Achilles heel uh, for these tumors, such that treating these, this tumor-specific fusion would be expected to have very targeted effect against the tumor with, with very few side effects since the fusion is only present in tumor cells and not in normal cells. And future studies will be to develop a humanized antibody to target this specific uh, fusion because this is specific to this type of cancer and not present in normal tissue. And we can also use this diagnostically. We are able to generate an antibody that could be used as a diagnostic tool, so we could do fish analysis and use it as a diagnostic tool. And then the second key next step is to actually create an antibody against the fusion that's humanized and can then be used and tested as a therapeutic strategy for schwannomas.